What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first ever Ward Plays. This is Sean of the Ward Productions, a.k.a. Wesker's House, a.k.a. the voice of Leon Kennedy from Days of Our Lives, Resident Evil. So, a few months back on March 22nd marked the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil. And uh, last week, Capcom unveiled Resident Evil 7. So, there's quite a lot of Resident Evil excitement in the air. And, uh... I wanted to take this opportunity to jump into the Resident Evil HD remake as sort of a celebration of the 20th anniversary and uh, share sort of a rusty speedrun attempt with you guys for the first episode of Ward Plays. Um, as I said, this will be a, a sort of speedrun, so I will be skipping cutscenes and running through the entirety of the game as quickly as I can. Just keep in mind that I've not played this in quite some time, so I'm going to be incredibly rusty, so basically don't judge me. I know you're probably thinking, why did he just unequip his infinite ammo handgun? Well, this is a speed run, and the handgun's gonna slow us down, so we're not gonna use that. You know, I always thought it was funny that everybody seems to turn into a zombie except for Kenneth. Like, Forrest, everybody, everybody turns into a zombie, but he's just like immune somehow. And what the fuck is that zombie's problem? Barry shoots him two times with one of the most powerful weapons in the game, a weapon that kills the tyrant in one shot, and that zombie just gets back up and leaves. What the fuck is that about? He gets shot two times, and he's still alive. Nobody finds that weird? Thanks. Just, it's me? It's, it's just me. It's just me then. Okay. God damn you, Kenneth. Just turn. I believe in you. You can do this. You can make this happen. And two, if you notice, um, I spend most of the time running around without anything equipped. Uh, the reason for that is because it actually speeds you up when you run with nothing in your hands so and you're actually a little bit more agile as well so when you're trying to like sidestep and fake out the zombies you can move around a little bit quicker kinda of like this hopefully maybe there we go so kind of a cool little tip Um, another thing that's really helpful when doing a speed run, since you're not using a lot of weapons, uh, you're not picking up ammo very often, um, it's pretty helpful to grab these defensive weapons as they kind of give you a free pass. You know, if a zombie grabs you, you're not going to lose health. Um, and it's also, it gives you a way to run, a, run around them without any kind of a penalty, so, and you don't have to kill them. So it's kind of, kind of neat. So this part's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> so since I'm not going to be killing these zombies, they have a tendency to kind of group up and, and wait for you at the top of the stairs when you come back. So we'll see if I can kind of sneak around them when I come back up here. I'm going to say I'm probably going to, I'm going to fuck it up basically. But hey, we'll see. Positive thoughts, right? 
What is that? Who has a book like that? Who has a book that looks like that? If you know anybody that has a book like that, you need to stop talking to them immediately because they're fucking insane. They're just, they're fucking crazy. Just stop talking to them. Even if you explain to them, hey, I can't talk to you anymore because you own that book. They'd be like, yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, fuck. Yep. That's kind of what I thought. And there's the defensive weapon, see? It worked out. In fact, I did that on purpose to show you how useful the defensive items are. We're gonna go with that. I really like that they did that because I remember when this first came out I'm like I know what to expect zombie dogs are gonna jump through the window no big deal and then they fake you out and it's like you don't really know what to expect so they they kind of kept that tension there which I thought was cool so once again I'm just gonna grab the item that I need to progress the story no herbs or anything like that you got to keep the inventory spaces readily available as you can because there's a shit ton of items and keys and shit that you have to take with you so you know you can't fill that shit up with worthless things like ammo and health Psh, fuck that To, uh, to get a quicker uh, gameplay time too, we are going to pretty much abuse the supporting cast. So <laughs> we're not going to save anybody. And uh, like right here, we're going to take advantage, get a free shotgun. Uh, Barry's going to save us because he's so sweet. And uh, he's going to die later and we're going to take his magnum. That's going to happen. And then uh, we're not going to save Chris because that's just too time consuming. So fuck him. He gets to die. Oh yeah, I don't know if you heard that there, but uh, so I'm playing on normal mode and it's also the third save file, I think, completion. So yeah, Forrest is going to be running around with grenades too, so it's another reason that I'm not going to be shooting a whole lot of zombies because I don't want to accidentally shoot that guy and fucking blow up. But yeah, the extra fun of him running around is uh, it's a joy. I'm pretty much just going to be using the shotgun too for the most part. So, don't need that handgun. So, I fucked that up too. So, when the zombies lunge at you like that, if you time it just right, it should pop their head off. Then you don't have to worry about a crimson head, but nah, I fucked it up somehow. Or it just didn't want to happen for me, I don't know. Thank you. 